So this is a prototype um, I'm using to test uh, VQ 16E GPS receiver I, I've just bought on Amazon for um, less than 10 bucks. Uh, and on the LCD, you see that traces indicating that we don't have um, a valid position. Right now, it started working. We have kind of a valid position, but we are on the inside. So we are moving out. And then let's see how it behaves. Okay, we're out. I'm on my balcony, so uh, we have good signal here, I, I, I guess. Um, it takes kind of 30 seconds to, to boot. And now we got 27. It's warm up, so we have a faster boot. It's pretty stable and fast. I really like it, this. And um, I'm using a... Uh, uh, Arduino nano board and this um, LCD so uh, we have uh, latitude and the four decimals longitude and the four decimals altitude and speed so it's working pretty fine and let's see it um, uh, working with the serial interface here we have um, the the device is connected to my uh, computer and here we have a complete uh, set of fields extracted from the GPS module through the uh, tiny GPS library for Arduino. Okay, I'm using tiny GPS plus um, version 0 0.92. I'm just checking on Google Earth the coordinates of uh, latitude and longitude provided by the the receiver and let's check how accurate it is well um, okay we have a result here and uh, well I'm just using four decimals just for tests so uh, as you can see on that star is the place where I live and uh, well on the blue spot so it's really accurate we have 30 meters I'm on the inside so you know uh, this is uh, a feasible result now I'm just checking the speed which is the most important for my prototypes I want to use this module for speed so 60.94 kilometers an hour which is uh, basically the same speed I have on my dashboard okay so I really like it this VKIL module it's working pretty fine and uh, well I recommend you to buy it if you want to use it with Arduino boards and uh, for your your project thanks for watching